Welcome to this Soundtrap tutorial. Once you log in, you'll see this home screen. Click Enter Studio down below My Projects. From the studio, we can make recordings, we can add effects, uh, you can export these to your computer. If it asks you to select a template, choose Blank. We're ready to add a track. So click on this button here, Add New Track. Tracks are where you put um, the recordings. So if you had four instruments in your band and you were recording a song, each instrument could have its own track, and then you could add effects, separate effects for each instrument. But we only have one microphone, we have one input, so we'll add just one track, and we click on Voice and Microphones. We could begin recording, but first we have to set up our microphone. And I also want to point out that you have the choice here for different presets. Click on this Voice Computer Mic Enhancer. The two presets that sound the best for podcasts are Dry and pod Podcast. So choose one and then click the X. All right, we can't quite start recording because first we have to click on Settings from the top. We have to set up our microphone, so click on Sound Setup. It'll walk you through some steps. First, make sure the USB mic is plugged into your Surface or computer, then click Next. It should pop up as the default. You should see something like USB PNP audio device. Click there, then click Next. It'll ask you to perform a volume test where you sing loudly, sing louder, even louder, la. And then after it's uh, asked you to sing loud, it'll tell you to be quiet. We're finished. We can click OK. There is no monitoring. That's OK. Click OK, and we're ready to go. Click this Start Recording button, or if you accidentally click the X here, you can always access the recording tools in this bottom bar. So I'll click here to start recording. It gives you a countdown and you know that your recording has begun when this purple box starts to scroll across the screen. Sometimes we make a recording and we decide that part of it in the middle we have to cut out or maybe you have to re-record it or move the recording from one location to another. All of that is possible in Soundtrap. When you're finished recording, click this stop, click the uh, record button once more or click stop. Here we are, the sound file. You can click on the sound file and drag it back and forth. You can shorten the sound file by clicking this arrow and bringing it in if maybe the, the last half was not necessary. You can recover that last half by clicking that same button and dragging it back across to the right. If you decide that you need to record over part of this sound file, you can click the numbers above to change the location and then you can click record once more. It gives you a countdown, but then you begin recording wherever you had previously selected. When you're finished recording over part of the uh, file, click stop. There we go, and you can see that it split this track, uh, this file, and added a new bit right in the middle. Now if you decide, whoops, I shouldn't have done that, you can click this back button to undo. The forward button is redo. If you decide later that you don't want this segment at all, you can click the Delete or Backspace button. Remember that at any point, you can click on this uh, previous recording, get the Adjust button, and recover anything you've undone, right? Or anything you've deleted. Another cool thing is you can actually split an existing sound file. Uh, let me go with my mouse and click over to here and I want to split and cut out this middle portion where the sound file is louder. So what I do is I go to the beginning, click on the audio file, make sure you click to highlight it, then with your keyboard hold control and hit the E while holding control. I've just split the track. Then I click above to go to the end of the portion, I select the track again or the recording file, I hold control on my keyboard and I click E. Now I can select this bit and hit backspace. With lots of different recordings, it might get confusing, so hover over one, click edit, and then edit the name. You might call this first question. You see that name when you hover over that portion. 
You can drag back and forth. You can change the effects like reverb, pan, and volume. Pan is which side, which speaker it sounds like it comes from, left or the right side. And when we're finished with all of this, uh, well, first we can change the name. That's a good thing to do. Daniel song number four. We're ready to go. Uh, we can save this file and export. So click on file. Before you can export as an MP3, first you have to save. Then you can click file and export as an MP3. Now, if you click this too soon, it might not have finished saving and mixing. So we have to wait a moment before, we, uh, before we're ready to export. If you want to add a new track and add an audio file, like maybe you've got a song that you want to add in as a background track, you can click this button. Choose voice and microphone again is fine. It'll automatically default to whatever setting you've used above. Dry is a good one. And then you can go to the very beginning, click record, and you can hold your phone up to the microphone to play the track. Alternatively, if you want, click this X. There is an import file button down below. If you click this, you can choose an, an audio file saved to your computer. Or you can also just open up your, uh, let's see, you can op open up your files and click and drag and it'll automatically load this sound file into the uh, into your song as a new track. If I decide that I want to delete an old track, I can hit the gear and click delete. Yes, delete. I can change the volume. Maybe this is this sound file might be too loud. You can change the volume by clicking on this volume button. Oops. You can click the volume button and drag your mouse down to adjust how loud it is. You can also click on this button and click Add Automation, choose Volume. Now I can click to add dots, and each dot is something that I can pull up or down to increase the volume. So if I want to start with a really low volume and increase gradually, whoops, I could do something like this. And then I need the volume perhaps to drop down to a lower level. So this volume will increase, the sound, the track will increase, then drop down. This is Soundtrap. There's a lot of tools, as you can see. Uh, feel free to play around. You can access this at home. That's one of the great things. You can just go to Soundtrap.com, log in, and have access to all your files. One thing to note, there is a five file limit in the free trial. So if you have more than, you know, if you have five files and you need space for another, you'll have to delete one of the old ones. Enjoy!